Today, I'm going to show you how to do a live AI SEO heist using Jake Ward's method and the step-by-step -step process he used to steal 3.6 million total traffic from a competitor. And I'm going to walk you through the process. I've mapped out the SOP right here. And this is based on what's working for us, right? So you can see, for example, this website created with AI was done with an AI SEO heist. So you can see it was getting zero clicks back in May. Now it's getting hundreds of clicks a day, thousands of clicks a month. And it was all automated using AI SEO and the SEO heist method that we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to guide you through step by step the process, how to do it for free, how to create the content, how to reverse engineer your competitors, etc. Plus how to focus on creating high quality content with AI so that you don't flood the internet with spam. Let's go. All right. So today we're going to do an SEO heist based on Jake Ward's method right here. This is one of the most infamous SEO case studies lately. And we're going to do it live today and just steal some competitors traffic. So basically, if you're not familiar with this, Jake Warp was talking about creating an SEO heist that sold 3.6 million total traffic from a competitor. You can see that the site's traffic went up like crazy in October alone. And he basically talks in this thread about how he did it step by step. Now, this went crazy, like 6.8 million views. And today we're going to replicate the whole process. So the first thing that he talks about is exporting a site map from a competitor, right? So how do you do that? Here's basically how it works. So the first step is to actually find some competitors that are performing pretty well. Now, one of the best ways to do this is to check out your website. Like, for example, I can check out mine right now. And if you go onto Ahrefs, you can actually go down to organic competitors. And from here, you can figure out, okay, who are the closest domains to me that I'm competing with in the SERPs to do this SEO high swift? So we can wait for this to load right now. Good old Ahrefs taking its time. And so from here, I can see all the websites that have a keyword overlap with me directly, right? And I can see which ones are performing best in terms of keywords and also traffic. So for example, for my website, juliangoli.com, Adrefs, Mars, and a bunch of other websites are competing with me, and they're getting pretty good traffic, as you can see right here. Now, if you don't have access to Adrefs, the easiest way to figure out your closest competitor is just to type a relevant keyword to your website that's performing pretty well and you know it's getting a lot of traffic. So for example, we can search for a keyword like best bird binoculars, and then we can look down the list and we'll see that these websites are ranking higher for our keyword. And this is a free way to do it. You don't need to pay for any tools here. You can just check Google for free. And then from there, you're going to figure out, okay, these websites are doing pretty well for ranking and therefore they might be a good target for the SEO heist. What's important to note here is that you only want to target websites that are niche relevant. So for example, if you look at NY Times, well, you're not going to do an SEO heist on the NY Times because it's too generic. And if you try and copy what they're already doing for SEO, you're going to get loads of random topics that don't make any sense to your particular niche. But let's say you're in the birds niche, well, you would pick a relevant birds website just like this. So that is basically stage one of the SEO heist method. So you find an organic competitor. Why do you do that? Well, if you're going to do an SEO heist, do it on a site that gets traffic. And how do you do it? Well, the paid way is to find organic competitors on Ahrefs, pick the ones with the most traffic, and then find overlapping keywords. The free way is to search relevant keywords on Google, like I've just shown you, make a list of competitors to do an SEO heist on, and make sure you only pick niche relevant domains. Now, the next step is to start looking at the competitor's sitemap, right? Now, so like Jake recommends, you can go to the main domain, for example, like website.com, and then you would go to sitemap.xml after the main domain. Now, the key here is that if you pick URLs from your competitor's sitemap, ideally, you want to pick ones with a relevant URL. So, for example, how to make soup is way easier to automate an SEO AI heist on versus a domain like forward slash 104, 3423, right? So, for example, if we go to chipperbirds.com forward over here, what we'd actually do is focus on the post sitemap. We're not going to bother with the category sitemap. We're not going to bother with the page sitemap. We would focus on the post sitemap. Why? Because that's where most of the SEO content is created. And then from here, what you're going to see is a list of websites right here. Now, this is my own site as an example. But what you can see here is we've got the URL that we can easily just scrape to do the SEO high stunt. And then we can grab the URLs that are relevant. Now, what you'll see is that for each page, if it's a neatly organized website, is that the keyword is always going to be after forward slash, which means that it's very easy for you to figure out, okay, these are the keywords that my competitor is trying to rank for. And therefore, if I create content around those keywords as well, well, my competitor has already done the research for me. The only thing that you might have to be careful of here is you only want to pick a website that's good at SEO. 
right? So if you see a competitor and they're going after totally random keywords that don't get any search volume, and then you emulate them, well, that wouldn't be very smart, would it? So just go after websites that have clearly structured their sitemap in a way that is obvious they know about SEO. So just to recap, you found an organic competitor. You know exactly how to do it paid and you know exactly how to do it free. Then you're going to look at the competitor sitemap. You know exactly how to do that right here with the steps. And from there, I'm going to simplify it more than Jake's method right here. So what we're going to do from here is grab all the URLs from the sitemap like this. And I know Jake says like download the URLs, etc., convert it XML to CSV. I don't think you even need to do that because if you're using ChatGPT or any other AI tool, it's going to be smart enough to break down the URLs and ignore all the rubbish on the side, right? So for example, if we copy this right here, plug it into ChatGPT like so, and then I'm going to use this prompt right here. This will be available in my free course. We can paste that prompt down here along with the sitemap underneath. And we will say, break down the keywords from the list of URLs, just the keywords, nothing else. Give me the full keyword, no commas in between. We'll hit enter like so. And there we go. We've got a list of the keywords extracted from the URLs. So for example, this page right here is clearly targeting the keyword blogs about birds. ChatGPT has filtered all the messy data around it and then just given us the keyword, which is blogs about birds. And then you've got a list of all the other keywords that you could create content around. Nice and easy. You don't have to use ChatGPT for this. You can use it for whatever you want, but basically that's how it works. So you copy the sitemap, go to your favorite AI tool and use this prompt. You got the prompt right there. You know how to get the sitemap. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we've actually skipped step three. We've skipped step four because we've already done that. Now we just need to write the content. Now you can use whatever tool you want, but basically right now you have the copy and pasteable keywords that you can easily plug into an AI SEO tool to create the content. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in bulk so that you can basically automate the whole process using AI. So the way that I'm going to do this, and this is based on what works for me, is I'm going to go to bulk generate over here, and I'm doing it the ethical way today because I'm actually just stealing from my own website. So if this triggers someone out there, well, I'm just doing this for my own website. I'm only stealing the keywords from my own website anyway. It's not like I'm taking it from a competitor, and this is basically how SEO works anyway. So we're going to grab those keywords. We'll go to bulk generate inside auto blogging. If you're not sure how to do that, you just go to quick mode. Then you go to bulk generate, then you plug in the article titles like so. And these are basically all the keywords that you can use for your content. Plug in your project name, we'll call it SEO Heist. And then you can select the language, the length, the type, etc. And this is based on what's working for me. So if you look, for example, at this website, Focal Funderland, you can see that this website went from literally zero clicks a day back in May, all the way towards getting hundreds of clicks a day in December. All right. Basically, the way that we did this was we stole all the keywords from my website I'd already created, published the content with autoblogging AI, and then you can see the traffic has grown nicely since. The same for this website as well, right? So we basically created a spiritual website from scratch, found all the relevant keywords for the website, bulk generated the content, and you can see that it's, again, gone from zero clicks a day back in July, all the way up to 54 clicks a day in December. So process works, proven to work. AI content ranks, and this is a really proven process. So what you can do from here is you can bulk generate the articles, as you can see, you can plug in the keywords that I've taken from my competitor's site, which is also my own site, select the language, select the length, type of article. You can choose whether you want godlike mode as well, which just basically means that it's going to reverse engineer the top 10 rankings from Google to create the content and optimize it. You can add images. And then you can automatically post to WordPress, right? Now, one important thing to note here is that these are the keywords, right? It's very raw. That's not like an actual article title. So what you can do down here is you can click on auto generate article titles. And what that will do is basically spruce up the keywords so that it's still relevant for the keyword people are searching for. But at the same time, the titles are going to be more interesting so that they're more clickable and therefore you get a higher click through rate on Google based on what's working for us, as you can see, 5.6% click-through rate, which is actually higher than most paid ads, right? So the free traffic that we're getting gets a higher click-through rate on Google versus paid ads, and all the content was generated with AI. So that's basically the SEO highest process. And then you would just click generate articles like so, and that's exactly how I generated all the content for this website, for this one, and that's exactly how to do an AI SEO heist in just a few minutes. So just to recap, Here's the whole SEO heist process. You find an organic competitor that you're competing with. Why? Well, if you're going to do an SEO heist, 
Do it on a site that actually gets traffic. How do you do it? Well, the paid way is to find organic competitors on Ahrefs, pick the ones with the most traffic and then find overlapping keywords. The free way is to search relevant keywords on Google that get traffic, make a list of the competitors to do an SEO heist on and only pick niche relevant domains to you. After that, step two is to look at your competitor's sitemap. How do you do that? You just go to the domain sitemap XML. Why the sitemap? Well, this is where you can see everything your competitor has posted. And why posts? Well, this is where the SEO content is created. So posts are the best pages to emulate. After that, filter the data, get the keywords from whatever your favorite AI tool is. You can use this prompt right here. And the final step is to automate and publish your content with AI. How? Well, I've got an SOP right here. If you want to use the same tool as me, which is Autoblogging AI, you might say, does it rank? Yes, as you can see, this is a brand new fresh domain. It wasn't an expired domain. And you can see the website is getting thousands of clicks every month now. You might say, can you do this for free? I would say, yes, you can, but if you're going to do it at bulk, it's going to be lower quality. So for example, I've built AI SEO tools using Palm 2, which is a free API. This video shows you exactly how to do it, but the quality of the content is lower. And you might also say, isn't this unethical? Well, the thing is, I'm actually heisting my own website in this video, right? So the keywords that I'm scraping right here from the competitor, is actually from my own site. I own chipperbirds.com, so I don't think there's any ethical issues. The one thing that I would say is that this situation with Jake, he actually got 7 million views on the content, like it absolutely blew up. And the thing is, this website that he's actually done it with, causal.app, I think it's actually been hit with a manual action penalty because the traffic has dropped like crazy straight afterwards. And also it looks like a lot of the pages have been de-indexed on Google. Now, let's talk about the ethics of SEO heist because this, particular thread got a lot of attention and a lot of hate as well. Now, I like Michael Cove's take on it. So for example, bloggers were doing this manually anyway, right? This is basically how SEO is done every single time. If you're watching this and you do SEO, you know that it's usually a case of reverse engineering what your competitors to do it. One of the things that Michael hates about this is that the internet is about to get diluted with AI generated content. I would say there's even more of a premium on human written content. Like for example, if you type something like how to do SEO into Google and you get the AI answer from search generative experience, you can see that the content provided is pretty low quality, right? So for example, you ask how to do SEO and it tells you it's not rocket science, but it takes time, effort and persistence. Now you already knew that before you typed in the search term, which means that this AI content is not really useful. And therefore what I'd expect is that there's going to be a bigger volume of lower quality content, but there's still going to be a massive demand for human written content or quality content. And that's still what's going to rise to the top. I think it's the same on YouTube, right? If you look at YouTube, it always serves you the best video on that particular topic. Like it's such a good algorithm. And even though there's a flood of AI generated videos coming in, if you look at them, most people can tell them straight away, just like they can tell this answer straight away is not very useful. And therefore, even if there's a flood of AI content, it's only going to be the best content that ranks. Um, we do some crazy experiments on this channel, but that's really just for fun. Like if you want to learn how to create quality content using ChatGPT, I would say this is one of the best videos we've had on the channel so far. This one right here. And we actually give away an SOP right here, as you can see, with some of the best tools and prompts and checklists for making sure that the content you write is actually high quality. So if you're wondering how to create quality content with AI, there's some prompts right there. The other thing I would say is this is an SEO heist. But really, it's just framed in a very provocative way. So really, what you're doing is reverse engineering and basically reverse engineering what works for someone else, right? So for example, for fitness, you would find the best person in shape. When I wanted a six pack, I just found the most jacked person I knew and learned what they're doing to, to do that. And it works. Same for business, right? You find a high performer and then you see what you can learn from them. And with SEO, you just look at what your competitors are doing and learn from that. SEO high sounds provocative, but really, you just reverse engineering. I mean, for example, Elon Musk, someone who's highly respected, is one of the best people at reverse engineering in the world, right? So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this SOP right here, including the whole strategy, the prompts, etc., the chat GPT prompts for quality content, like we talked about, and the SEO checklist for quality content, then you can find it inside my free AI SEO course. It comes with loads of tutorials, etc. Links in the comments in the description. And if you go to AI SEO strategies and then over to SEO heist right here, I'm going to put the SOP right here as you can see in the description that's available for you to access right now and if you do want to book in a call about how to get more leads traffic and sales from seo feel free to book in a free seo strategy session where we'll personally teach you how to build a link building campaign that predictably 
consistently delivers you more backlinks, traffic, and sales to your website. You'll get an SEO domination plan, we'll answer any questions that you have, and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.